this video, you'll see how I draw human anatomy, going from drawing basic shapes to adding each muscle into the drawing and finishing it with details. And you're probably wondering, how did I learn to draw like this? Did I learn and memorize all the muscles? And is it necessary to learn all of them in order to draw like me? Well, today I'm gonna share my art training experience and my learning process when I started drawing. The most asked question I've received was, how did you learn to draw anatomy? The answer is quite simple. I learned through YouTube, more specifically through Proko and David Finch. They're the ones who help me the most when it comes to learning on the individual muscles and learning where each tendon of the muscles is connected to the body. They also helped me on what to focus first when learning the human body. And now you're probably wondering, hey third, what do I focus on first? Well, you should focus on the basic shapes and the proportions first. Why the basic shapes? Easy. Using them fundamentally makes the process easier to understand. Starting big is always important when it comes to art. Think about it, composition, character design, and even writing a story. We always start with the core of the subject first before going into details. As you can see in the video, I constructed the body with simple cubes, cylinders, and spheres before going into actual details. I know that it's so much fun to add details into a drawing in the beginning because if you look at any finished illustrations from Instagram or Pinterest, the first information you'll perceive is the details. For example, anatomy looking stylized, clothes having good shapes design, and just the overall drawing being well rendered and colored. Suddenly that illustration hypes you up, making you want to draw the same thing, and it motivates you. When it's your turn to do the same thing as what you saw in that random illustration, your drawing suddenly looks off. It looks crap, you put your drawing beside the other illustration, and you realize you're not good enough. You realize that the details you see are too difficult to copy and to imitate, so you give up. And the weird thing is, you can actually do it. You can draw as well as your favorite artist, you just have to understand what to learn first. You have to be patient. You see, the illustrations you see on social media, they all look good not because of the details you see on the canvas. Those details look good because they have a good base and the fundamentals are well understood. Those artists also started with the fundamentals. You're probably wondering, third, what are the fundamentals? If you just do a quick Google search, you'll see answers like perspective, color theory, forms, structure, composition and light and shadows and all that good stuff. Those fundamentals will probably overwhelm you just by looking at them. But those are important if you want to become good. Trying to become good is an easy task. You don't become a professional basketball player by dribbling a ball two hours a day every day. You have to learn how to shoot as well. Learn how to pass, rebound, improve your defense and your footwork. And those aren't easy. It takes patience and dedication despite having no motivation. And it's just like baking. You have to learn how to bake a cake first before adding the icing, the sprinkles, and the cherry on top. If your cake is shit, then you're just adding sprinkles and a cherry on top of the shit. So bake a good cake first, then add the last details. Now for the proportions. This subject might be complicated to learn at first. Just because the human body types are so diverse, sometimes you just don't know how to learn and what to learn. For me, the easiest way to learn human proportions is learning the general adult proportion first. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's the 8 head length human proportions you always see on a YouTube tutorial. And once you learn that, you can now start learning different types of bodies, because that way, you can compare the generic adult proportion to the new body proportion you're learning. Another important thing when it comes to learning fast is you must always observe and compare things. You must compare how big the head is to the torso, you must observe if the proportions are correct while you're drawing. And to know if the proportions are correct or not, go look on a reference from Pinterest or Google or watch YouTube tutorials about proportions. Then you compare your drawings to that tutorial or the reference you took. You have to be actively thinking when you're learning to draw. I've always had this problem before and I still do. When I try to learn something, I always get distracted. I forget the information I'm learning while I'm drawing it, 
so I had to draw it again multiple times and it gets exhausting a lot. So a quick advice I can give you to learn the anatomy is to separate the body parts you want to learn and draw them separately at a different time. Focus on one body part for a day and draw that thing multiple times and consume as much knowledge as possible. For example, when I first started learning the heads, I solely focused on the construction of the skull and the facial structure. I watched David Finch tutorials, implemented the techniques he gave us on my drawing. I also learned how to draw the skull from any angle. And by the way, learning the skull and understanding how it's constructed helped me a lot in order to draw any types of head. So I suggest you to learn that too. There's a good skull tutorial from Cynic Design on YouTube, go check him out. Anyways, once you've drawn a bunch of sketches and learned some stuff about the subject you're studying, you can take a break, let your mind rest, and don't overwhelm yourself with more information. Just take a day break. You can still sketch the things you've learned. After that, you can now learn another part of the body. But this time, you have to implement the last thing you studied into your new studies. For example, me, after I studied heads, I started learning torsos. But when I draw the torso, I also add the head in each sketch I do. I am actively using the knowledge I've learned from the past, and this is what helped me to learn the anatomy, to retain information for a long, long time. Anyways, that concludes my YouTube rant for today. See you guys and take care.